What's up guys, welcome back to Dead by Dalek. Today I'm on the PTB, we're playing the new Killer Pyramid Head. He's just been announced from the dev stream, the four year anniversary dev stream. And I've just joined the game and I, was, I just had to click record straight away because I've seen the new background. Holy shit, it looks amazing. Silent Hill DLC. Before we get into the gameplays Pyramid Head, I'm going to go quickly look at the perks because they weren't really explained too well on the stream I feel like, so I'm going to go through them now. So we're going to look at the survivor first because, you know, the survivor... We want to see the killer last, right? Of course we do. Where is it? Oh, there she is. There she is. Alright, Cheryl Mason. Let's see her perks. So first we have Soul Guard. You have been through immense hardship and you're stronger for it. Gain the endurance status effect for 4 seconds after being healed or having recovered from the dying state. While cursed by a hex, you can fully recover from the dying state. That could be quite good. I feel like this perk might be quite good if, like, you know, the killer's coming back to the hook when she have been healed. I don't know. Maybe. Right, blood pact. The, one of the, wait, one of these perks on the stream wasn't explained very well. Everyone was spamming question marks in the chat. It was hilarious. Uh, I, I, you guys probably know. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, blood pact. It's as if the latent part of yourself has awakened. You feel like you can reach out beyond yourself for assistance. When you or the obsession are injured, you both see each other's auras. After healing the obsession or being healed by the obsession, you both gain the haste status effect for four seconds. All right, that's kind of cool. I mean. Having haste for four seconds, uh, I don't really know. Um, could that be helpful? I mean, in certain situations, I feel like this could be helpful, but I don't really see it being like a huge perk, but maybe it could tie into some nice, fun Survivor Friends builds or something. All right, this was the one I was very confused about, Repressed Alliance. You're accustomed to being hunted by malicious forces and you've begun using it to your advantage. Repressed Alliance activates after repairing generators for a total of 80 seconds. When repairing a generator while the perk is active, press the activate ability button to call upon the entity to block the generator for 30 seconds. The perk deactivates. What? Okay. Can anyone explain this perk to me? Because I don't understand. When repairing a generator while the perk is active, press the activate ability button to call upon the entity to block the generator for 30 seconds. Okay, I could only see this being useful if like the killer's gonna come to the gen and use pop and then there's 30 seconds where he can't use pop or interact with it. I mean, is that what they were going for? I feel like this is kind of useless, but then again, I don't really know. I feel like it's to stop the killer from using like pop and overcharge or just kicking the gen, regressing it when it's almost done. Like you press this when the killer's coming, you run, do your chase, whatever, 30 seconds, someone goes back to it, the pops, maybe he's gone, I don't know. But yeah, that's interesting. Here she is in a default outfit. Does she have any of her base outfits? No, she doesn't. But I know she has a, an outfit in the shop that changes her character, so that's kind of cool. But the moment everyone's waiting for, the most important part is the pyramid head. So we're going to go play as killer. Killers, where is he? There he is, dude, the executioner. Holy shit. Look at him, dude. All right, let's go through his perks quickly. Force penance. Those who stand in the way of duty will suffer harsh judgments. Survivors who take a protection hit are inflicted with a broken status effect for 20 seconds. This, I feel, is going to be good for people who play against Survivor Friends. If you're playing in high rank, this could be quite good. People who are always taking hits are going to get broken. That could be nice. Trail of Torment. You guide your victims along a path of pain and punishment. After kicking a generator, you become undetectable for 15 seconds. I assume that's going to go up to 25 seconds uh, at rank 3. During this time, the generator's yellow ore is revealed to Survivors. Okay, I was a bit sceptical of this perk, but considering how long it lasts, it could actually be quite nice. You kick a gen, but before I say it, it'll be good on indoor maps. Outdoor maps, I'm not so sure. Indoor maps, yes, this could be quite good. You're undetectable after kicking a gen. You kick a gen, you run around a corner, they don't know where you are, undetectable. So could be nice. Could be a fun perk. Okay, Deathbound. Those whose lives are intertwined in darkness are destined to suffer together. When a survivor heals another survivor for one health state at least 32 meters away from the killer, the survivor performing the healing action will scream, revealing their location and activating Deathbound for the next 45 seconds. During that time, the survivor will suffer from the oblivious state effect when further than 16 meters away from the healed survivor. Alright, that's interesting. I don't feel like it's going to be, these perks are going to be super amazing in builds. I feel like these two are better. I feel like Deathbound's, it's an interesting one, but yeah. Okay, so, I've saved up a lot of, per lot of points in my archives. And here, my rituals didn't do this one. Going to spend a bunch of points, and then we're going to jump into a, into a game. Alright, let's go. Okay, before we get into the game, we first want to go over the power of the Executioner. We have Rights of Judgment. Rights of Judgment. Hold the power button to activate, then move in any direction to carve a trail into the ground. Survivors who walk or run on the trail will trigger Killer Instinct and be afflicted with torment. Survivors affected by torment may be sent to the Cage of Atonement while they are in the dying state. 
Special attack, punishment of the damned. Press the attack button while the rights of judgment is active to perform punishment of the damned. This unleashes a wave of force, damaging any survivor in its path. Special ability, the cage of atonement. Press the active ability button while standing over a dying survivor suffering from torment to send them to a cage of atonement. Survivors in a cage of atonement can be sacrificed as if they run a hook. During the second phase of the summoning ritual, they will be forced to complete skill checks to hold off the entity. Being rescued or rescuing another survivor from the cage of atonement will remove torment. Special ability, final judgment. Press the activate ability button when standing over a dying survivor suffering from torment who has already reached struggle phase on a hook or in a hook cage to execute them. So we'll be able to instantly execute. I don't know if this is the same as the Mori or not, or they're two different, like, separate ones. There's only one way to find out. We will get a... We may not play a second game, depending on the lobbies, but I will get someone to jump in a game with me so I can showcase that. Probably be at the start of the video. If, if, if you see it at the start, this is why. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. I've been blabbering on for so long. I just want to play, so let's go. Okay, after spending over 1 million points, we got the Executioner or Pyramid Head to level 43. This is the build I'm going to be using. These are the perks I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the new perk, Trail of Torment. After kicking a generator, you become undetectable for 15 seconds. So, I feel like this might syner synergize a little bit with Pop Goes Weasel. Every time I put a pop on a gen, I'll go undetectable every 80 seconds. Hopefully I can shut chases down quick. We have Barbecue and Chili, obviously. Decent perk. Good perk for pretty much every killer. I'm hoping to get the new map. I didn't get any offerings at all for the new map, so that's a bit of a shame. Got to save the best for last. Hopefully I can get a lot of stacks so I can hit faster. And before we get into it, I'm going to put a Mori on as well. Showcase the Mori, because I have no idea. We're going to look at the add-ons quick. I will put a... Uh, somewhere at the start of the video, there'll be a timestamp where you can skip all this straight to the game, if that's what you're interested in. But we're going to go over the brown add-ons quickly and get to the more powerful add-ons. Okay, first of all, we have Lead Ring. Slightly increase the duration rights of judgment trails remain in the environment. Okay, that's standard standard browns, commons. Slightly increase the recharge rate of rights and judgment. Okay. Slightly increase the total amount of time that rights of judgment can be performed. Alright, decent, decent. Black strap. Slightly increases the reach of punishment of the damned. Wax doll. Moderately increases the reach of punishment of the damned. Spearhead. Slightly increases the total amount of time that rights of judgment can be formed, uh, performed. And we have leopard print fabric. Slightly increases the duration of killer instinct when triggered by rights of judgment. Forgotten videotape. Moderately increases the recharge rate of rights of judgment. Cinderella music box. Moderately increases the duration rights of judgment trails remain in the environment. Tablet of the Oppressor. Considerably increase it. Oh, a, there needs to be a space there. Increases and the. Don't have a space in between them. Behaviour. Please fix. Considerably increases the total amount of time that rights of judgment can be performed. Oh, such a tongue twister, dude. Holy shit. Misty Day. Remains of Judgment. Moderately increases the duration of killer instinct when triggered by rights of judgment. Mannequin Foot. Considerably increases the duration rights of judgment trails remain in the environment. Burning Man Painting considerably increases the reach of punishment of punishment of the damned okay tongue twisters holy shit okay and under the powerful add-ons the pink and purples first rust colored egg survivors affected by rights of judgment suffer from the blindness status effect for 60 seconds decent all right lost memories book survivors affected by rights of judgment suffer from the oblivious status effect for 15 seconds that might be nice that might be nice at indoor maps oblivious is always nice crimson ceremony book injured survivors affected by torment suffer from the hemorrhage status effect Alright, Obsidian Goblet. The executioner gains an undetectable status effect when standing on a rights of judgment trail. Ooh, that could be nice for some sneaking about. I like that. Iridescent Seal of Metatron. Okay, when sending a survivor to a cage of atonement, the auras of all survivors suffering from torment are revealed for six seconds. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna use one of the I'm gonna use some powerful add-ons, because why not? Why the hell not? PTB, you know? Uh, which one did I like here? The, this one, the Lost Memories book, for the Oblivious States effect, if we use Rites of Judgment. Stick them on. Oh! Ooh, I didn't know I got one. Okay, we'll showcase the Mori if we play a second game. And we'll, uh, we'll go to the map. We'll make sure we go to the map. I want to see the map more than the Mori. Here we are, Midwich Elementary School, Silent Hill. You can hear the sirens. Holy shit. I'm so annoyed, guys. I, I waited for so long. I found a lobby and the guy DC'd. Holy shit, so fucking annoying. Alright, let's go, let's do this. Alright, rights of judgment, how do I use this? Alright, so I can just hold this down. Oh shit, I'm wasting a cooldown. Alright. I see though, two people that way. Okay. Okay, I understand how it works, I think. Alright, let's try and get into a chase now. Hello, survivors. Survivors. Alright, on the outside part here. Oh, that chase music, damn. Alright. 
This is going to take some getting used to. Oh, she's tormented now, I believe. Yeah, as you can see around her name, the like barbed wire. So she's actually tormented. I can put her in the cage. Um, I have to get used to the names, damn. Uh, when I get her down, I believe. Oh, just about. Holy shit. Alright. Bop, bop. Alright. Let's send you. How do I do it? Cage of Atonement. That's the one. Later, bitch. Wait, where does. Someone above. I don't know how to get above. I don't actually know how to get up there. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to get up there, guys. I have no idea. Ah, but you don't get pop. You don't get pop if you put them in the Cage of Atonement. That's interesting. I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? You have to hook them. Alright. Are they going to save? Hmm. Okay, they saved. Hmm. This is weird. Even if you don't see them, I feel like it's worth using this. Just to leave a trail. Right, everyone's healed. Damn. Right, I'm struggling here. Struggling. No one's been over here. I feel like I'm like a hall monitor dude. Holy shit, I'm just walking around the halls. <laughs> Alright. I definitely need to try and get some hooks though. Oh. Back on this gen. No? I heard them. I don't know where these are. Ah, that's one. Hello. <laughs> Hello indeed. So can I actually down them with this ability? That's what I want to know. Someone tried to head on me, I think. Dead up. Oh, you didn't use it. Bop. Well, if if someone is like waiting in a pallet with like flashlights and stuff, you can just do that if they're afflicted. I saw someone at the end. Okay, can I cut them off going this way? Hmm, it's gonna take a while to get used to the map for sure. They went up. Okay. But where? Okay, I don't really have the time to waste doing that. So can I not see? Oh, I can see where the box is. It's up there. Okay. I'm gonna hit this gen so I can go oblivious for uh, 15 seconds. Ah, hello. Hi. Oh, that's a window. That's interesting. Oh, I really want to try that. So interesting. It's like, it's actually harder than I thought it was gonna be to hit. Is it just me or does it, this map seem quite laggy? I'm sorry guys if the gameplay seems laggy. Like the map seems really, really, really strange. Like, FP like, my FPS is fine, but it seems like it's, like, quite choppy. Hmm. I'm sorry, guys. Nothing I can really do about that. Okay. I only just realised I hooked. <laughs> I have barbecue. I should make most of that. Ah, someone over there on that gym. Okay. But, yeah, the map. this map seems laggy. It, it, it did this on one of the PTBs a, a while ago. I don't know. Weird. Getting used to the abilities are weird. I think they've run into one of these rooms, but I don't want to be looking for them for a long time. Kind of trying to stay. Alright. I got saved. I'm not really creating a lot of pressure, but this map is actually really big for an indoor map. It's very big. It's interesting. Okay. Ah. Nice. Alright. I mean, I'm sorry, Jane. I didn't really want to tunnel you, but maybe you have DS anyway, so who cares? No, you didn't. Ah, wait, doesn't this kind of... Doesn't this kill a kind of, uh... Like, combat DS? I can't get up the stairs again. I don't remember how to get up. Yeah, because you can just send them to the... In the cage, right? And they can't use DS? Ah, I see one of them. Can I drop down? That would be amazing. I don't think I can. But yeah, doesn't this kind of defeat the point of DS? 
Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, you've run into the wrong person. Right. <laughs> I think she forgot I could do that. <laughs> Alright, thing. Can I not send you to the thing? Maybe there's not enough room or something? I'm not sure. La la, let's put you on the hook. Alright, that ability is nice when they drop pallets. I feel like that's similar, kind of similar to the Huntress in the fact that she throws the, um, the hatchets uh, when you throw a pallet down. She's dead, I'm sorry, she ran into me. I'm not gonna just leave her on the floor. I know it's kind of stinky that I ran into her a few times, but honestly, I don't really care. Shit happens, get over it, buddy. Alright, a lot of the gens are upstairs. And I don't know how to get upstairs. <laughs> Isn't there must be multiple ways? Because I feel like I'm running a lot in circles to find to find it. Because that gen's done. I can't do anything about it now. That kind of sucks, to be honest. Yeah. See, I cannot do anything about it. These, t I think, two of these guys I've not found at all. Is there, there must be more ways upstairs instead of just like? Oh hi, dude. I don't want to be tunneling, but look at these guys. You must have DS. Come on, have DS. You don't. All right. Well, I'm hugging you again. Then. Like, where are where are these stairs? I'm struggling to find them. Damn, this map is huge. I didn't realize. She went up. All right. Dun dun. But yeah, like I said, guys, I'm really sorry about the FPS. It, 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 like my FPS is over a hundred, but the game seems choppy on this map. I know they've had this problem before. I'm gonna lose stacks now. Thanks. Boy, I thought I was gonna hit her there through the wall. You can use that ability through the wall. If you guys didn't know. Oh damn, that's a big drop. That's a big ass drop. How do I do it? How many times can I use that thing? Hmm. I can't seem to send them to the cage. Am I doing something wrong? Is it because, I, I don't know actually. Yeah, the map seems really big. Ah, oh, you're over there. Hurrah. I was going to go pop the gem, but... Oh, I thought she was going to carry him running. Sad. She went off. I'm going to hit the gen anyway. Oh, she killed herself. Fair enough. I mean, I'm oblivious now, but she might find the hatch. Can the hatch spawn upstairs? There's only one way to know. She went that way. Oh, oh I'm not going to make it. That's below, isn't it? I think she makes that before me. That is very, very unfortunate indeed. <laughs> very. F oh. Maybe not. I thought she was 100% gonna make it, but hey, this map is very confusing and way bigger than I thought, which has surprised me a lot. Honestly, did not expect the map to be this this big. Damn. Ah, there she is. Thought you were gonna go through the window. Nice, GG. Alright, well, that was interesting. I'm, I need some more practice with this killer, and honestly, this lag didn't help. It kind of threw me off. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like it seems very choppy, and I really don't understand that. What? Uh, understand that to be honest. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I mean, could have gone better to be honest. This map, um, I don't know how I feel about it, but hopefully I'm going to bring you guys some Survivor gameplay very soon on the map. And that, that'll be interesting too. This is interesting to use as well, the Rights of Judgment. Definitely. I don't know, oh, I only just realised why I can't put people in the fucking 
in the boxes, dude. I wasn't tormenting them, was I? Obviously. I wasn't using my ability enough. That was my problem. Well, I found the problem. So I'll try and do that next time when I play another game of the killer, probably when he comes out. I'll try my best to use <laughs> my ability more because I definitely didn't torment people enough. So yeah, GG guys, and I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.